Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, at the end of the last episode, I wasn't a producing any more tungsten platings. So let's go and find out why. The first thing I think we're going to do, so let's have a look on here. So I want to craft basically tungsten plating. Yeah, I should have thought about this at the time, but I didn't. So click next. So it says we've got no, not enough copper. Now here it's got 11.78, now it's 11.52 is the capacity of a decomposer, so there's a little bit more in the system than that. Is that the only problem? It looks like that's the only problem at the moment. So what we have to do is extend the capacity of copper, in the same way as we've done it with iron. So let's go and do that first of all. It's fairly straightforward actually. All we do is we come along here, find the one that's doing copper, probably something like this oh it's a good guess i should knew where it was so all we do to put on this one is to put a, a storage bus i think it's a storage bus we put on it yes and connect that into the system and what that's going to do is it will then we can then put oh hold on a second that's probably wrong that's to make copper ingots isn't it i have to do it down here sorry so we need copper that's copper here look so i need to basically put this as an export into here so it's producing copper all the time so what we'll do is we'll just swap it over with this one here i think let's move this out of the way and put this one take this one and put this one back in its place so we've got copper and silver what i'll do is i'll move the silver out of the way as well because we actually want the copper to connect to that one and the silver can go there so all we need is then a, is a cable and an export pipe i think export bus that's right so take one of those that'll work of course it's empty i'll take it from the the machine itself i think and an export bus. I've got an export. It's got four down here. So we just need to find copper. Uh, that that should be in. Nope, that's the other side, isn't it? This one. Actually, I think yes, it'll be one of these. Probably be about the same position as the other one. There we go. We so want one copper out of there, and then we can put copper onto here like this to this bus and then that will start to make copper oh, what have we got in here we've got a yeah we've got an acceleration card let's make sure we've got an acceleration card in here like that so that will then start to go get made faster and then the copper machine over here should start to work start to produce lots of copper good it is so now that process may actually have started automatically to craft because it's now got more capacity it might take a few seconds let's just check it not yet let's have a look again tungsten plating so this time it's missing copper and platinum but platinum should be no problem in fact why is it missing platinum Let's go downstairs and check that as well. Platinum shiny metal. I'm not sure where shiny metal is stored. I think it's one of the end of end ones. Aluminium platinum there. So one from the end I think would probably be here. Oh well this is full and it's making platinum. So that should actually start to craft up as soon as the copper's working. Let's go actually probably let's not have to go upstairs to do that. Let's just check it over here. Can I reach that terminal? Oh I can good. And as you can see now it's starting to make some more tungsten plating for us. Fantastic. Right, so that's that problem solved. It it might happen again with another metal. And I put, did put this storage bus up here. That was basically to keep in stock a number of... This one here was to keep in stock a number of um, iron ingots. Put the iron ingots in there like that. 
and it's the same is true for this one if I want to do copper I could do copper I'll leave it for the time being because I suspect it's not a bad idea to put it on every single machine so the next thing we're going to do is to do the power so let's get this down here what we need is well we're going to just connect it into this like this so at the moment we've got this is where things are coming in too so maybe if we've got space here oh I think we have let's just put the stuff down this is advanced generators and advanced generators it doesn't matter where you put anything to be honest with you that's actually the fluid import bus let's bring that actually let's bring that over to one side as it happens of all of the ones we'll take this one as a we won't use that one we'll put everything else down and it doesn't matter where anything goes except we need a way to get the power into this system so that'll be let's put the controller down here and then it'll tell us what we need we need at least one turbine so we've got let's put down the turbines and then it should tell us actually it works even with that which is a bit strange let's put the other stuff down steel turbine and then the iron turbines and then we can put down what have we got some high density power stuff let's put these down here it doesn't really matter where we put anything this is just basically storage like that and fuel tank that is the one of the ones I actually yeah, it doesn't matter where you put fuel tank down let's put it down at the end here like that and let's put the import the fluid import here so we've got a way of reaching this like that what we don't have now is a way to get the power out so let's put some fuel into here first of all so here I've got a tank of fuel let's just put the fuel tank down like that and it starts to get the fuel in here and it's producing power it's actually producing 760,000 RF per tick which is quite a significant amount of power so that'll fill up and when it fills up what is the capacity of this thing now it should be starting to take fuel into here like that it is so it's got basically one 1600 buckets of fuel it can take now there was one there was a question wasn't there let's just remove that so now this has got plenty of power we haven't got any way to get the power out let's get the power out of this thing what we have to do is make another component this one is going to be an R let's have a look at advanced I was looking at dra uh, draconic evolution in the break so well, between episodes so the, the advanced generator there should be one called an RF flux that's a sensor model see these ones here are emitters these are different emitters for um, industrial craft power by the looks of it so we can power industrial craft machines so we could actually make a one of these so we need a an LV transformer a power IO module well, maybe let's make one of those in a minute so let's see if we can make any of these so we just need the coil I think we should be able to make the coil easily enough we also need a power IO module what's that missing wood oh pistons okay let's make some pistons we need some pistons missing wood brilliant let's go and get some wood I thought we might be short of wood take three stacks then we can make 64 pistons I guess so we've got no shortage of cobblestone these days let's get those going so they won't take very long to craft they should be just coming through already look at that so we need two of these power modules and we've run out of iron ingots that's uh, not so good but they should start to come in because these are crafting automatically i think let's just craft 12 of those no 10 will do won't take too long we need what we need five huh three we've got plenty of 
iron in here. Seven, eight, there we go. Right, one to one of those. And then we want, um, what was it? I can't remember now. We want the L LV transformer. So we needed a coil for that. And we're running out of copper bits. Let's have a look for copper cables. Let's craft 64 of these. Start that, okay. And then that should craft fairly quickly because we've got quite a good a supply of copper in the system. Six. Let's try that again. No, we need eight. We've got no iron ingots again. Yes, we have. Just didn't fill in. Right, got one of those. Let's try that again. So we now got our LV transformer. So we should be able to make one of these. I oh, know we're missing some things at the side. Oh, we're missing these. We'll need f four of the. Uh -uh. Let's clear that recipe off. I'll take eight because it looks like we're going to need these all the time. Let's try that again. So now we're an LV emitter. We also want a flux emitter. Where has it gone to? Redstone control, basic power. These ones are powers. I'm not 100% what it looks like. Those are turbines, as you can see. Capacitors. Output ports, some gas producing. Flux generator, this is the one we need. So maybe I think we've got everything we need for that. Yeah, we have, fantastic. So that should be enough to produce RF. And it goes into gas or steam. Yeah, both of those. Okay, good. So what we can now do so we should be able to connect. If I have got my tool with me, which I haven't. Anyway, let's try this first of all. Let's connect to this thing here. The flux generator. We can put it directly in front of this block here. I think we'll do. Yes. Now, if I right click the controller this time, Oh, clear. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I just uh, output configuration. Oh, doesn't help me at all. Because I just emptied all the fuel. That was brilliant. So let's put down here some of these. Where have they gone to? Cryo stabilized flux ducts. I should be able to put those down here like that. Ah, yes, it just connects up. And hit. Can I put it onto here? Yes, I can. So that's now going to give this thing power. Let's have a look. See if it's power's all gone. <laughs> I didn't actually check, but that went up a bit, I reckon. Oh dear. So I've got no more fuel. Oh, there wasn't much fuel in there anyway. So so that's that. Anyway, that, I think that's working now. So what we can also do, of course, is to put on, on here. I won't put the Crydo Flux duck. I want to put this LV emitter. Like that. And then when I connect one of these machines to it, it should basically be able to power it up. This is the bat box, isn't it? Let's just see if that works. What do I need? I would not actually I don't need any copper. Let's put that in the system. I need my tool. Here we go, the electric wrench. Let me just check that's in lossless mode. It is good. So we can easily pick up the back box like this. Back box has probably got some power in it. And I think, I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work. We'll try it anyway. Because that's the output one, isn't it? And I think the output one's the one that faces you. So if I put this into here like that, there, there we are, it's connected up and it's got, this will have power. Yeah, 
I need to give some more fuel to this. Let's go and do that. I think that's a good idea. So I've got fuel in here. I think I've got about 16 buckets as worth. Oh, 16 buckets, which is basically one tank. Oh, a little bit more than that. So now we can put the fuel over here. Wherever I put the input, well, here it is, look. Um, it is getting fuel in and it is producing power. Therefore, this thing has actually charged up, which it has. I can charge up this. So that's now got its power. So that's actually also working. So there's another way to get um, the different forms of power that we actually need. Of course, this will be filling up fairly quickly because this thing will actually be em generating quite a lot of power so look how much power it's generating it's generating 760 rf per tick is it what's this one current production 304 so that's basically not producing very much because it's only got a little limited amount of fuel and it's used up all the fuel already so let's just pick this up so that was the thing the other question wasn't it how to get better fuel better fuel and i was looking at oil and i was trying to find the recipe for it i do know i couldn't find the recipe for oil so let's go and have another look at this one i was looking here and i was trying to get a recipe for this one but it wasn't working but if i look at a bucket you do get it so of course we need to magna crucible moon dirt will give us that now there's another page of this one there's also bio chaff which is probably hard and this costs 50,000 RF for those two on the next page we've got 5,000 RF for ellipse, ellipse cobblestone so we've got to get to and that produces 25 milli buckets compared to five so it's a or 20 so this is a lot better for fuel Anyway, we've got quite a lot of moon dirt. So what I'm going to do next is to make another Magna Crucible, I think. Because we need this to be produced. Magma Crucible is this one. Uh, so we need nether bricks, that's no big deal. What have we actually got that we can click? <laughs> Not very much. And the other thing I'm thinking about doing is to set up another um, sieve to start sieving well, at the moment we're saving all sorts of things but i think it's mostly moon rock but we could see other save the other materials as well especially um mars cobblestone i think even though i'm using most of that to make water so in here i did have to actually the prepared this didn't i so let's just shift this into here like that and we should be able to produce an auto sieve like that that won't take I don't think that takes up too much power no done already turn it off again of course it's taken it into the system so we've got it in the system so we have another another auto sieve in the system there we go so what we now need to do let's have a look at this by the way yep that's still crafting nicely that's why all the irons disappearing as well we need some redstone in lava I'll take a stack actually and I wonder if there's a good way to do this basically we've got in in here I've got another stone barrel so in the stone barrel I can feed I think I can feed cobblestone directly from uh, co lava directly from here so let's do that anyway so that's another stone that's just a stone barrel here isn't it so let's put this one down here and then put onto this a fluid transfer node which i didn't bring with me which is a shame no we're going to quickly go and get a fluid transfer node because they're in the ch i made too many of these by accident didn't i once it happens, I was, go, I was a bit irritated by that, but in actual practice, it is something that you need a few of. So we want 
let's take one of those, one of those, and some pipes. We also need a hopper, we got one of those there. And maybe a chest will do actually, put a chest in, and there'll be a bit of hopper underneath it, it'll probably be good. I'll take, a, I'll take a hopper and a chest and then do it the old fashioned way for automation. But let's do it like this. I think that'll do. So I reckon we can feed from here lava directly out of that. Yeah. And then lava should come into here at reasonable speed. So I'm not going to use very much of this, but we're going to just go down here and put on top of this a uh, hopper and fill the hopper with redstone like that. So that'll make another, another rack. So we just need a way of getting this out. So all I'm going to do is dig down here, I think. Yeah, it's not exactly convenient, but because uh, I'll, be, I'll be too low down. Okay, so on the bottom of this, we'll just put the, the transfer node. Oops, helps if William Hunt, doesn't it? Like that. So the transfer node, then we can get out of this place because we don't need to be in here. So I've actually got all sorts of bits and blocks underneath it. It's a bit messy. There's a way out. Like that. So all I really need to do is to put a chest down here, don't I, I suppose? And that'll come in with there. Another rack. Yeah. Like that. And that's actually probably enough. Let's put let's, let's put some of the floor back. Oops, the wrong one. I meant to open the chest, not to take stuff out. So we got some leather rack there, so we can just go up quickly and go and cook that. Into bricks. Because the redstone furnace is fast. We need 16, I think, to make this, don't we? Uh, no, actually, we need 8. That'll do nicely. I can have to it in here, can't I? I'll make 4, I'll make 4 doesn't make that much difference because we probably need more than one and they go there if I remember that, what else do we need, oops, don't want that one Invar gears got two of those, that's no problem what I'm going to do with the Invar is actually get that automated as well because that's we use a reasonable amount of it, so we need a redstone reception coil and a redstone energy cell and we're just missing lead ingots This is probably another one of these. This probably makes sense to have a stack of always on always on hand. Do so. The last thing we needed was this one. So we need some gold and some redstone. Yep. I really should do this, shouldn't I? I've got one of those and some redstone. Two. Actually, that'll do, yes. Actually, I don't know. What, no, maybe I don't have a recipe for this. I can't remember, to be honest with you. But it's selected anyway, so that's no big deal. Okay, good. So the next thing, well, let's make this Magna Crucible. We should have everything we need for that now, so we can make this one. And then, if we look at the uses of this, we can upgrade it. Electrum gear, we can make one of those. Uh, a signalum gear, we could probably make one of those as well. So look at that. Oh, wrong. 
uses. Yep, we can. And Enderium gear. Well, Enderium's actually not a problem, is it? Let's have a look for Enderium. Now we've got 17 already. So let's get that one done as well. So then we can upgrade this. What did I just do then? That should have worked and it didn't work at all. That's interesting. Um, and that because I've selected that. So it was in VAR. What happened to my invar gear? Oh, it was Electrum gear, wasn't it? An invar. I think that's wrong. Yeah. And then the next one is let's have a look at the uses of this one. And that didn't work either, goodness. That was hardened glass, wasn't it? Got 18 of those, no problem. Signal them. Oh, we need some silver ingots. Actually, that do work this time. I'm not sure why. take too long for this to work. Very good. So now we have a resident magna crystal without any speed upgrades. I'll put the speed upgrades later on. But for the f this time I would like to get this one and I want to get the um, what do I want to do this one? I want to get oil produced don't I? So I think we can put the we can get it over here would be nice if we can produce it over here. Let's have a look how we're going to do that. Well, I suppose here is the nearest port place for this. I'll just put some cables down. In fact, what I'll do, I'm going to have to do this anyway. So what I'll put I'll put it down here to start with, like that. So we can then basically put a, an export bus on this for the for the moon dirt. Export bus, yes. And then it wants a fluid import bus to import the oil back in again. So normally we'll do it on this side, yeah, that's fine. I'll just cable this up. In fact, we do it from here like that, and that's all cabled up. So all we now need, of course, is some moon dirt in here. We have 77,000, which is a reasonable amount of moon dirt. We just need one of those now in order to get this process started. And that'll be slow because it needs the speed upgrades. It also needs a speed upgrade on here to import this faster. And maybe on here to actually export the oil faster. So though I don't need it. So we just need these speed upgrades, which I will do between episodes. And I think I'm going to stand over here and say goodbye. Because this is actually not unimpressive. Even if I did sort of half cheat it in. So let's, uh, I didn't, I just used a cheap, I just used a cheap recipe. So until next time, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I'll say bye for now.